this story. So, all right, so Sandra Bernhardt was here on Thursday. When I'm talking to her, she's talking about how she does all these cool things, you know? She does, like, guy stuff. She's going to a model party. She's hosting a model party. Yeah, they were having some kind of fashion awards on Thursday. And Sandra Bernhardt is the host. And afterwards, it's like a party where all models hang out. I'm going, hey. I mean, it was a big party. They had Destiny's Child performing, you know. Sounded pretty good, right? Yeah. I said, hey, I'll go to that. I want to go and check it out and see if I can have some fun. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll bang a model. So, uh. That would be the downside, you know. Yeah, what was, what's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> have a few cocktails? Have to bang a model. So, uh. I said to Ralph, I'm going to this thing. You want to go? I invited him to go. I right, need help. You yeah, and also hanging out at a place like that alone. Yeah, and also it was kind of like uh, Ralph invited me to something that was pretty cool, and I, I want to reciprocate. You know, somebody well, you're invites always me. Always inviting him to things that are right. cool. What are you doing? You've got plenty of room to spare there. Right. And then my friend Richie Notar, who listens to this show, you know, every day. And uh, he, he he says to me, I, he calls me up on the phone, oh, what are you doing? Why don't you, uh, you know, I, I knew he knew what I was doing. So what? now you've got a crew. Yeah. Well, and I didn't invite him at first. I just said, oh, what the hell, I'll invite him. <laughs> because, you know, we want to go. You know what? I remember, like, when you guys were out in L.A. and they were supposed to get you to the hot model party. How long yeah. did they that didn't do? They didn't do good at all. <laughs> I ended up going to some girl's birthday party. It was downgraded to a hot chick party. And then before I knew it, there wasn't even a hot oh, chick please. there. And we walked in and two chicks were vomiting in the bathroom. That was the party. <laughs> Three girls were there, 30 guys, and two girls were vomiting. Right. That was the party. At some model party. <laughs> So, so you actually get invited to a hospital. So I get I get all the information from Sandra Bernhardt's office. The off, the, the TV show that they're doing or whatever the show is, they're taping it from 8:30 to about 10:15. Mm -hmm. And then the party starts around 10:15. So I think I'll go there around 10:15. Yeah. So Ralph comes over. Now I have to get dressed for the model party. Well, is Ralph dressing you? Well, I was getting dressed. <laughs> and then Richie was sitting there watching me getting dressed. Ralph was there. They're drinking. And I go, guys, I do not look good enough for the model party. Now, <laughs> these are clothes I wear every day. But suddenly, when the pressure is, it's a big, hot model I'm party. To a model you party. want to look your best. And it's like, nothing I have looks right. What, are you a girl? Well, because look at me. <laughs> when you look at me, you realize nothing looks right. <laughs> so Richie's sitting there going, look. You, because you're wearing the wrong shirt. And he's telling me what to wear. <laughs> Ralph comes in. No, you're wearing the right shirt. Does it? They're arguing. And now time is clicking away. It's 11 o'clock. But that's good because you don't want to be the first one at the yeah, party. Yeah, you want to make an entrance. You don't want to right. be the first guy there. But by 11.30, we still weren't there because... You're still trying to figure out what to wear? What to wear? There's a lot of pressure. It's like making a movie. Oh it's too much pressure. Goodness. Too much pressure. That, this is really sad. That's right. Well, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, I never lied to you. You should be embarrassed. Yeah. Really I was. I was angry. I said, I don't care. I'm wearing whatever I got on and we're going. <laughs> so, um, uh, get dressed. Yeah. Go. It's over at uh, Lincoln Center. Uh-huh. Which is that far? Yeah, I went over there. Walk in. There is... I didn't see any models there. All I saw was a bunch of guys standing around, and they evidently handed out cameras to everyone. So everyone's just standing around going, hey, Howard, take a picture with me. What well, kind of party is that? Uh, that was like a party favor, these little disposable cameras. Yeah. So they said to this guy, I'm not here to take pictures. I want to meet people. Leave me alone. Did you hook up with Sandra? Couldn't find Sandra anywhere. I'm looking all over for Sandra Bernard. Destiny's Child's up on stage. You can't even hear it. <laughs> well, here's Ralph. Hey, Ralphie. Hey, Ralph. Yeah, by the time we got there, everybody was gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, Ralph, am I right? Was that, when I was giving it a chance, it just was a sucky party, right? Well, yeah, I think, but like I said, I mean, we got, we got there at like 12 o'clock. Yeah, think. we got there at 12 because by I could have... you got done getting the dressed. Party, the party started at 10. Right. So, like, a right after the show thing. Yeah. And, and those things usually work that the really hot people, the people you want to party with, they make an appearance. Where well, Rob, Rob tells me that every, you can't be early. Everything starts happening late. People have to start drinking. There was another party. Right. And if you had hooked up with Sandra, you would have been where everybody was. Oh, right. Really? To, to the next party. Yeah, you don't think she just went home. Sandra had my number. She could have called me. Because somebody said, like, like Jennifer Lopez was there and Puffy was there and, like, everybody was hanging out. Yeah, like I read the papers. It was like everybody was there. Paul, nobody was there. 
you missed it. Those people. They were there. Somewhere. They were there for the show. Yeah, but they go somewhere to party. Yeah. Without the riffraff being around. Really? Yeah, yeah. Somebody told somebody told me it's like that same spot we were hanging out. And people were there. Yeah. All I know is we were there and nobody was there. Nope. Trust me, nobody was there. So, anyway, I'm running around looking for Sandra Bernhard. She's already gone. You didn't try calling her. Right. No, I didn't have her number. Oh. I did. See, who knows? Who, she was out. So the you, thing you is, you got to take people's numbers out with you. Yeah. Well, you know what? I can't be that much. If it starts to become work going out, then I don't yeah, want to do you it. You didn't even get there. Yeah. Well, we got there at the right time. Ralph always says I'm too early to stuff. I listen to him. He's the expert at going out. Oh, this time you were too late. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers. You missed. You know what it you is? Know, you're like the titration experiment. Robin, you know what you I learned? It much. doesn't matter. You get there early, you get there late. It still sucks. <laughs> okay? If I'd been there early, it would have sucked. Formula. Right. So I'm sitting there yelling and screaming because I'm just taking me forever. You get too much pressure, models, this, that, the other thing. And now there's nobody to right. look at you. And Richie and Robinson are drinking. And it's a bit certain in the whole thing. We finally get over there and... You got a little, you got a little antsy because you heard model parts. Yeah, it gets throw me off. It's like making a movie. Yeah, thirty million dollars involved. This is a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Through these models. Right. Here I'm thinking, wow, he's hooked up. This is gonna be hot. I can't wait to hear the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So we get there. <laughs> There's some good food there. Did they? I didn't even eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where'd you find food? And then there was, like, big tables of, like, you know, all the stuff. Well, well, I, well, I couldn't even walk around because people were just snapping pictures of me and, like, like telling me to sign stuff. And, like, this is another move guys do now. Yeah. They have their cell phones with them. They go, hey, Howard, talk to my girlfriend on the cell phone. They put you on the phone? They, they want to. I'm not doing it. F you. I can talk to your girlfriend. Here, say something funny, stupid. Yeah, right. Yeah, here, here right. Yeah, make me laugh, clown. Yeah, can you say hi to my, my, my folks? I'm like, well, what are you, a douchebag? Get away from me. Why me? <laughs> Get away. Why me? Why me? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so here I am all dressed up with no place to go. You know what I mean? Well, now I'd like to see these pictures to see the outfits you picked out after three hours of consternation. And believe me, I didn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> it still didn't matter. It's still me. You, can you know what, man? Clothes. You took you changed so many times. It took you so long. I don't remember what you wore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. To think about it. I don't either. That's very girl-like. Yeah, it was very girl-like. It was very gay. It was very gay. It was a very gay night. All night was very gay. Uh, but wait, I didn't even get to the best part yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This fiasco. Yeah. So now we're out, and we're realizing no Sandra Bernhardt. She's already, as you say, off to the good party. Right. And which... the, prob the problem is, too, at a thing like that, everybody's bringing their camera already, so all these idiots have their cameras, so woo. I mean, take pictures, man. Yeah, of my crappy outfit. So. Thank goodness you got dressed. Yeah. Plus, it was a very humid night. My hair was expanding every 30 <laughs> seconds. It was just growing wildly. My hair was very big. It was a hot, sweaty night. And I wasn't looking good. For, a good, good thing no models were there. So, uh. <laughs> scared them off. <laughs> scared them off of my hair growing. So then, uh. The party was just sucky. I'm not going to any more parties. You know what I mean? I'm not good for parties. I'm not down with parties. Oh, dear. So Ralph and Richie said to me, come on, we're going to go downtown and we're going to go to all the hot clubs. clubs? Okay, yeah. so then you I go. hit the clubs. All right. So then Richie always acts like he knows what's going on in the clubs. He's making phone calls, this and that, and the other thing. <laughs> and we end up at Lot 61 and nobody was there. Yeah, that's where you always end up. We went to Lot 61, but nobody was there. So Ralph goes, Thursday night isn't the right night for Lot 61. Now what do you yeah, think? There's, there's all these rules. Yeah, it's Monday night not, is not Lot not 61 night. night. And I'm like, okay. So what's Thursday night? But now you got to understand, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And then, and then like, so when we're taking cabs everywhere. Oh. And I don't know, who was it? Was it Richie gets in the cab or you, Ralph, who starts goofing on all the cab drivers? I wasn't goofing. You I was were yelling at us. Yeah, because you wouldn't know where to go. And she wouldn't listen to me. I don't know. It's just getting very upsetting. They're horrible. No, you're horrible. No, she didn't know where she was going, and she wouldn't listen to me. I look at you. I won't listen to you either. And then, like, we're, like we're in the way somewhere, and we're finally getting somewhere. It's getting late. And I'm like, stop off at a corner so I can run in and get cigarettes. And, uh, and I have to buy candies. And I'm like, dude, just sit in the car, and we want to get somewhere. <laughs> you know, so all on. fighting with each other and it's dragging on. Because there's no chicks. Nothing going on. We just want to have, you know, we want to have activities. We want to have fun. 
I just want to see what everybody else is doing. Why don't you guys just pack it all in and go to scores? Right. Is well, that, no. No, no scores. <laughs> so then we decided to go to this place. We decided to go to this place, Spa, which is a really cool place. Uh-huh. You sit around there, and they got these couches and stuff. And they serve lots of drinks, and there's all kinds of chicks running around and wacko dudes. And it's just Thursday cool. Thursday night's a great night there. Yeah, Rocco. So Thursday night's a great night there. Thursday night is Spa. Yeah. So we go in there. We get in. We get, they set us up with a nice table and everything. We're sitting around. Next to us is a table of lesbians. <laughs> just really hot, and they're making out with each other and doing all kinds of weird stuff. So, <clears throat> second we get there, me and Richie are just sitting at this big table, you know, waiting for stuff to happen. Ralph has to like go walk around. Right, Ralph. He can't right. just sit he there with us. He mingles, but that's fine. I mean, let him go do his thing. Who cares? Sit there and stare at you too. Right. Ralph's gonna check out the scene. So, like, while I'm sitting there, like a half hour goes by, I don't see Ralph, which is fine too, because you know what? A lot of people came over talking to us. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh-huh. We're having a good time. Like I gotta say, it was fun. I like that place, Spa. I do too sometimes. Yeah. So I don't see Ralph for like a half hour, and I'm thinking, gee, thank God I don't see Ralph. You know what? It gets so much better when Ralph's not around. Oh. Ralph runs off the fun. Cause oh. he, yeah, cause like he wasn't there, and like, I was having a lot of fun. I go, maybe it's because Ralph isn't sitting here bothering me. Telling you how ah. oh, telling you how I should conduct myself. You know? oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I sit down and worry about Start you. Start lecturing me. I don't even see you when we go out. You All right. insulting people. So I, I, but then I was thinking, well, who the hell knows what's going on? So then I'm sitting there, like 45 minutes, I still haven't seen Ralph. I even said to Richie, gee, we haven't seen Ralph in so long. He's like, who cares? You know? Have you been kidnapped? Yeah, right. We're Richie's screwed. loaded. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Well, who cares, really? Yeah. And I know Ralph. He's probably just busy doing his thing. He could have been gone. Probably hooked up with some chick or something. So uh, I don't sit and worry about Ralph. That's why I go out Ralph's with him. Ralph's the kind of guy, remember he went, supposedly went out with Stuttering John? They never saw each other? Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which was fine. So this big black guy, big strong black bouncer guy comes up to me. He goes, excuse me. And I go, yeah, what's the... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. He says, um, he says uh, I just have to tell you, you know, your friend who you were with, um, we just, um, we had to throw him out of the club for dealing drugs. <gasps> what? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I go, wait a second. First of all, I know Ralph. That's didn't... how Ralph makes a living. So the guy goes, what do you want us to do about it? So I said, well, Arrest I said, <laughs> I said, first of all, I said, well, if you're giving me some options, what are my options? I go, if one of the options is to let him back in, why don't you just let him back in? He's my friend. And I know him. He's not dealing drugs. And he, and he goes, eh, I beg to differ. We have people who have seen him dealing drugs. Yeah, how come you always jump up? You Because here's how I know. First of all, I know Ralph was complaining the whole night. He didn't even have pot. Number one. Yeah, because he had ecstasy. He wanted no, to... he didn't have ecstasy. He didn't have anything. He was complaining he had no drugs. I didn't have it. I didn't. No, I wasn't complaining. Remember I said to you at the house, I said, I, I don't even want to do anything because I didn't want to be all, I had stuff to do the next day. It'd be all wired and up. And right. Everything. You're going to be responsible. Yeah, so you can have a few cocktails. I know he's effed up, but I know he wasn't dealing drugs at the club. So I said to the guy, there's got to be some... How did this uh, mistake happen? Oh, wait, I'll tell you. So, so then I said, hmm. And so I said to the guy, well, so if you, why are you asking me what to do if you're not going to let him back in? I said, is he under arrest? He goes, no, there's a lot of police out there, but... <laughs> there's police activity. There's a lot of police activity, but... He's, he, you know, he's not going to be arrested. He's on the ground, but everything. You're right. So I go, well, okay. And I just sat there. I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> you I was having a great time. So, so Richie goes, I'll go out and check out what's going on. Richie goes out there to see what's going on with Ralph. Comes back to report to me. He says, listen, I just saw Ralph out there. They threw him out for dealing drugs. And he's just standing out there. I said, all right, well. Did, he ta- did Richie talk to Ralph? I don't know. Yeah, Richie talked to me. What did he say? Uh, he, you know, he tried to talk to the guy, and the guy said, somebody said I was dealing drugs, blah, 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 that whole thing. And he said, I can't let him back in. Yeah, and they were convinced that Ralph was dealing drugs, and under no circumstances. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't listen to anything I said, but right. and, and, I, didn't, I didn't really know and, the guy. Uh, and Richie came back and said, listen, they think he's, he's dealing drugs. What, what, I said, forget it, so that's you it. Both went back to whatever you yeah, wanted. we went right back to Spa, and we yeah, just yeah, yeah, enjoyed that the was night. Good. That was really nice, man. Oh, screw you. You wouldn't have left. Hey, screw you. You couldn't get up off your fat ass and come out and say something. I'm not going to. I said something to everybody in the club. You know, you, to who? To the, to the guy who's the owner. No, you did not. You don't I did, too. The, owner is. the guy came over and told me he owned the club. He asked me what was going I asked him what was going on. I said, can you let him back in? He goes, no. I go, okay. Well, what am I going to do? No, no. F you, Ralph. No. 
You see, he's gonna F you. What? This is so funny because three thousand miles away, while I'm in Los Angeles, mm. I get this story. Russ and I are laughing our asses off. Right. And you know, we're just figuring. You probably just wanted to hang out, and I and, just wanted to have a nice, relaxing I, night. I, and I we finally got to a club, and it's one o'clock in the morning. And you're having a good time. I'm finally having a good time, and Ralph's growing up. All you had to do, you could have, you could have just come, you could have walked no. out, you could have just seen what was going on. If you, got, I, no. the only reason I walked Get out of off, the only reason I walked out of the club is because I thought that they needed your car out there or something well, like that's that. What I mean, you're there for? What happened, Howard? Why did they throw him out? Yeah, well, all right. So here's what happened. This is the only thing I can figure out. Because I heard some things. No, this is the only thing I can figure out. Okay. You heard some things. Yeah, because we didn't hear anything. The only thing I can figure out is I know Ralph went into the bathroom and was talking to some guys. I think that somebody who like listens to the show got pissed off that Ralph was there or just wanted to f with him. And what they did was they told somebody, hey, I think that guy's a drug dealer. It's like screwing around with him. But, Ralph, you weren't, you weren't smoking pot anywhere in the club, were you? Wasn't smoking pot or anything. What happened is I get up, I get up from the table. Go ahead. And, like, it's, it's like you and Richie were just sort of sitting there. Nothing's really happening yet. I'm going to go walk around, check and see what's doing, and go to the bathroom. So I'm going to stop at the bathroom first. I get up the table, walk right to the bathroom, go in the bathroom. This guy comes into the bathroom. I'm talking to my friend there. I'm in the bathroom like two seconds, not even, you know, doing anything. My... And this guy comes in. He goes, "Hey, I got to talk to you for a minute outside." I said, "About yeah. what?" He goes, "You're not in trouble. Nothing's the matter. I, I just got to. I just got to talk to you about something." And you had called for a car or something like that. So mm -hmm. I, I thought that they needed somebody. They knew I was with you and needed something with your car or something like that. Thank God. And I'm walking outside with him. And the guy, the guy goes, "Somebody inside said you were dealing." I said, "What? Dealing what?" He says, "I don't know. Somebody just told me you're dealing." And then they told the manager, and he goes, "Okay, he's out." And I go, what, what do you mean? I go, Sir, guy, search me. I don't have anything on me. And then, you know, I, I didn't want to leave right away. And, you know, I'm talking to the guy. And then the guy wouldn't even look look at me or listen to me. And he says, uh, and they walked over and he told the cops. And then the cops said, hey, man, you got to leave. It's, you know, the guy says, he's not going to let you back in. He's not going to let you back in. I mean, the cops were fine. They weren't giving me a hard time. But the guy was just like, didn't want to hear it. Mm. Can you imagine what would have happened if, you know, if Ralph didn't know why they were walking out with him at first? Yeah. Like, you think no, they were very, struggling? they were very cool about it. I, no, mean, no, I had no idea. It was like at first, you thought you were going out to meet a car, but if they were. And by the way, it. I just want to say this club is so great that they don't want some jackass in there dealing drugs. So they, you yeah, know, they, they don't want to screw it up. The whole deal is that the, none of these clubs will exist if they get right. tagged. Right. That's right. Immediately. Yeah. Out. Immedi immediately, they lose the liquor license early, so they have to throw. So they threw Ralph out. And I just figured Ralph was guilty anyway. Ralph or something. Pissed somebody off on the yeah. way to the bathroom, and they they did that. To yeah. Him. And I was just like, ah, Ralph must be guilty. <laughs> you know, actually, actually, how was Friday night I was out. With I finally guys. figured out how Ralph makes a living. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Friday night I was out with some guys, and the same thing happened. Us. One of the guys was smoking pot, mm -hmm. and uh, he got thrown out of the club. Yeah, but Ralph wasn't even doing anything. He, he really was wasn't. He, was he wasn't. Time. He really was not. It, you know, it was really somebody, a case. Somebody, you know what? I think it was. There might have been some guy dealing drugs and somebody, And like Ralph, when he was in the bathroom, they probably said, "Hey, that guy over there." Right. And they probably pointed at the wrong guy. It's the only thing I can figure out. Well, the, uh, I, I was talking to one of my friends who knows people there, and he said somebody said I was smoking pot. Right, see, that's and what I heard. He yeah, he had clove cigarettes. And I had those clove uh, cigarettes, and they probably uh, thought, because they stunk like weird, that I was smoking pot. I told you not to, to smoke those, because they do look like pot. When does Ralph smoke? I don't he, care what they look like. He has like a cigarette. Hey, he good. Dude, you shouldn't care, but you got thrown out of the club. Yeah. I'm and right. I wasn't going to leave because of Ralph. I didn't so ask. I didn't say you should. I, listen, Richie told me he went to take care of it, and Richie told me he told you that we're going to stay. No, no, That's he what didn't. He told Richie, me. Said, Richie said he was going to go inside and get you or something. And get you know, me? Just, he didn't get me. You guys don't have to leave, but just let Howard know what's happening or, you know, come out. And I knew what was happening. What am I going to do? Try and get it? me back in. I well, did. No, you did. I did. You're lying, Ralph. You I did. sat there. To me. Yeah, I sat there and talked to everybody. You, well, I could have been outside. I could have been arrested or something. So what am I going to do about it? Yeah, so you can't help me out? No. I'll get you out in the morning. I'm not going to get I was having a good time. I'm not you wouldn't have even been there. It was my idea to go there. No, you, oh, you, you invented spa. <laughs> it's my football. Yeah, he invented spa. But wait a minute. How long did he stay out there waiting for you? to do something I don't know. I have no idea. I just figured he'd he's split right. and go. He's, he's very independent. If i got to start worrying about him. Out on his own. We always made a pack. We don't worry about each other. Bro. No, I didn't. No. no, I didn't. Did I do did the wrong thing? thing? The no. guy comes over. He talks to me. Richie went out and checked out the situation. You do you do. He wasn't under arrest. There's nothing I could do. The You're guy right. wasn't letting you back in under any circumstance. He told me that. Could have gotten up and checked with me. No. What's the yeah. check about? Why do I have to check? I what am I, your wife? I would have. You wouldn't have. Richie, Richie went out and Richie, did it. What, I, I would have. 
I would have got if, if something happened to you. And you would have. You would. And the reason I went down in the first place was because I thought your car was out there. You would have checked. Who cares if it was Howard Stern? But when it's Stuttering John standing outside a yeah, restaurant, no he's not going to check. No, of course not. No. You, remember that, Ralph? He's such a liar. <laughs> No, yeah, remember, yeah, remember it? Yeah, I was outside for an hour. You didn't come out. Dude, I'm not going to go out there and get involved Dude, in your drug bust. you with me that night, Don. That's totally Howard different. Howard can't afford oh, to be involved in yeah, I don't want to be involved in drugs. <laughs> and you said that was the wrong thing, that I should have gone out and checked on John. You should have. Yeah, you should have. So why didn't you check on me? Because I'm, I'm Howard Stern, and I sent my yeah, boy yeah, Richie out there. to get up off your fat ass. No, I'm not too important. Yeah. I just can't be involved. Who are you going to talk to you like that? I can't, uh, look, he's never going out with me again. That's the bottom line, the way he's talking right now. Yeah, I'll, you always I'll say that. You right. always no, be out I'm not going out. Weekend. I'm not going to be with a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be around drug dealers. <laughs> and, you know, it's lucky he didn't have anything on him because usually he does, right? Yeah, that would have yeah. been great. Yeah, usually he does I have something. Usually... Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, I have walked around the dealer. 50% of the time, do you pot on you? And you know what, man? I was begging them to search me because I had nothing on no, I know about Please. I know about that night, but would you say at least 50% of the time you have pot on you? No. No, because no. he's, he's grabbing everybody else's pot. Yeah. Right. I wait for somebody else to have it. <laughs> That's right. I don't like to carry. Right. So anyway, so he got thrown out I, of the club. I love that he's upset that you didn't come out. Yeah, like I'm supposed to come out there while he's in the middle. Richie went out, checked out. He says, Ralph's splitting, and that's it. I said, okay, fine. I remember nights when he and John went out, and, and John was relying on him for a ride or something. They never... <laughs> oh, no, 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 you got that Ralph backwards. Please. I was relying on John, and John didn't I got appear. a chick one night. So I left. And he's Fine. Like, what are you guys, a bunch of women? Right. So you get in the car. Ralph, so what is Ralph, Ralph going to do? Richie told of. me Ralph was not under arrest. Richie saw, said he saw Ralph. He goes, I said, so Ralph will get in the cab and go home. What do you want from me? You're, you're, you're Howard Stern. You could have come out. You Douchebag. We talked to the owner in the club. He said, I'm not allowing the guy back in. What do you want me to do? I you said, weren't talking to the owner. Yes, I was. I don't believe you. It's good you're talking to a liar. Yeah, now I'm a liar. No, because okay. you know you well, were. You were talking to that one guy. I talked to the black security guy and the guy who claimed to be a manager or an owner. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't yeah. the owner. Let's recap. You're a fat ass and a liar. Right. There's a there's like 20 managers. Yeah, but he's but he's the greatest guy in the world. Yeah, and he left me out without even like a, you know thinking about it for a second. Right. John, I didn't know where I didn't. I wasn't you didn't even think about, about it. You didn't think about John it. John Samuels got you. And you didn't even look back. I didn't see you get kicked out. Yeah, you you just got kicked out. Because you want to get off your fat ass, you liar. Yeah, everyone with the fat ass. Meanwhile, at least I sent the guy out to see if Ralph yeah, was okay. Exactly. Much more than he did. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you have a lovely ass, but you still should have came with God off it and checked out. No, I shouldn't. Yeah. Why? Did I tell me? Got... Why? What so I went back Saturday night and, guy, and I was talking to the guy and straightened everything out. And he said, yeah, well, if Howard would have come out and said it, it's something oh, like that. Oh, that's yeah. such a lie. That's what he said? Yeah, me. great. Everybody blame me. Well. Yeah, I'm in charge of you. You, you got yourself thrown out. You could have ran out for a second. I'm not saying you had to. Leave. No, I spoke to the guys and they told me they were not letting you in. And Richie went out there. So then, did he call you like the next day, all mad at you? Or? No, he knows better. He knows he'll never go out with me. So again. when did you find out he was pissed? He's not pissed. Oh yes, he is. No, he isn't. I'm a little annoyed about that. Yeah, who cares? But, you know, who cares? It's no big deal. I don't care you're about you. I, yeah, I, no, I, I'm that. the only guy who's ever given you a job in your entire life, and that's, I'm self That's not true. That's what you want right. to believe. But anyway. Okay. Oh, well, why don't you go get another job then? Because I enjoy what I'm doing. Nothing. I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling. <laughs> so when I went back Saturday night, right, I go to get in. I go to go in the club, and, like, I know some people who work there and stuff that, who weren't there that night, you know, who were like this guy King who's a, who's a friend of mine. So I go there, and uh, I go to get in, and the, guy, the manager there goes, we're not letting any dealers in tonight. And he turns his back on me. I'm like, oh. Now uh, you have a whole reputation. Yeah, now it's like, like the guy remembers me. I'm never going to get into a club and <laughs> the club again, but it's got it straightened out. Yeah, they let him back in because yeah. they realized that it was all right. Yeah, they're all laughing about it. I'm like, eh, funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're out on the street. Yeah. yeah. So, so what did I do? I called Ralph later in the night and I go, man, you missed a great night. Uh -huh. Just like that. I go, I go, you're so stupid. Yeah, yeah I'm stupid. I said, for, I said, there's a whole table of lesbians sitting next to us. I said, they had some big gay fashion show. You would have loved it because you're so freaking gay. Uh, and, uh, now you got to attack me. Yeah. So I you're go, wrong. No, yeah, I'm not wrong. Dude, you're so wrong. I am not. You were so wrong there. Right, I'm wrong. Fine. But see, I give you a pass because you don't go out a lot. You're, you're new to the whole thing. So. Yeah, yeah, like you. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a pass on that. Give me a pass because if you're going to shut your mouth, you're never going anywhere again. No, yeah, to what? Well, great hot model parties again. That's all right. You don't have to go to any hot model parties. <laughs> I'll have you banned from the Playboy Mansion. You don't shut up in about two seconds. Oh.
And don't think I can't do that. <laughs> okay, you got a point. All right. <laughs> So it was kind of funny because he got thrown out for being a drug dealer. I thought it was kind of funny. Oh, I can't, it, was, it really was kind of funny. I, mean, I said, I can't wait to talk about this. And I'm yelling at the guy. I'm going, search. I, I, didn't, I didn't have anything. I didn't have aspirin in my pocket. I had nothing. Yeah. It's like, thank God, Ralph. He really didn't. Out and you something to talk about. I know. You know what? Like six, uh, six it was the most exciting thing ever happened to me. Six people ran into me there and, like, offered me stuff. Like, coke, ecstasy, everything. I'm like, you no, 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 I don't want any of that tonight. I'm not for dealing. Yeah, John, go ahead. You're on with uh, Ralph. Yeah, well, first of all, stupid, good for you. It serves you right for being left outside, just like you did to John. But anyway, I, I, I've done dealt out some drugs in the past, and the first thing I do is ditch my stash, and I tell the cops to search me. That's a guarantee that you were doing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody in jail saying how they're not guilty. Yeah, well, he really wasn't in this case. I can vouch for him. Uh, anyway, F. Ralph. Right. You searched him, you know. Yeah, I, had, I did a complete cavity search <laughs> before we went out. <laughs> so that was so. I got home about three, three thirty in the morning. That's fine. I was a little bit loaded. And you didn't even care if Ralph was in jail. No, no, I knew he wasn't because he, because he already left. He already left ten messages on my machine. And Richie told me he wasn't arrested. He was just going to go home. Richie comes out and looks. The guy that I know for six. I sent Richie out there. I sent Richie out there. Yeah, he's, thinking, didn't even come out. he's thinking his friend, his actual friend, doesn't come out. Right. Oh, please. <laughs> Richie went out and saw that Ralph was fine, and Ralph that was the end. Get outside. Who cares? Sure. I'm not going to go home because you got kicked out. You didn't have to go home. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? Go out and look at you on the street? Make sure I'm okay. Because you know what? You wanted me to go. Okay, we'll all leave. Make sure I'm okay. Huh? And I didn't want to be talked into leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? That's what you just didn't want to leave. Hmm. I didn't want you to leave. And how was it after that? It's great. We had a great night. I love that place. It was great. It, it was just, you know what? It wasn't, I, it wasn't even about girls. It was just fun. Yeah. It was just fun to hang out. We had a good time. We're drinking. Did you have a better time that Ralph wasn't there or would it have been better? Better time that Ralph wasn't there because Richie and I were just having so much fun. But the whole time Ralph was under arrest on the street. I was thinking, you know what? Time. The key to having a good time is having Ralph not around. It was great. Yeah, yeah, I'll just bring you to the right club. Richie's so do. yeah, Richie's That's so much job. fun compared to Ralph. Job. Richie's so easy to be with. Ralph's so high maintenance. Right. I just said this is a great night. I'm glad he got kicked out. Yeah, Mr. High Maintenance. If it didn't take Still you to the address, we might have caught some models. Yeah, right. You're the one who told me it's fine because we should mellow out and wait. Yeah. Still, man, yeah. It's like Ralph insinuates that if he wasn't around, you'd never be able to right. find a good club. Right. right. Yeah, like he's the one who discovered Spa. He wouldn't have been there. You say, well, you're the one who went to Lot 61, stupid. No, stupid. I wanted to go to Joe's Tavern. Steelman, you're on the air. Yeah, Hal, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> hey, uh, I just wanted to tell Ralph that there's tons, and tell you, there's tons of gay and grateful douchebags out there that would do his job for half the price. Exactly. Would that be you? <laughs> Thank you, Steelman. Yeah, all right. Uh, oh, man. Anyway, so that's the, that was uh, Thursday night. I went to another club after that. Yeah, he did. And he had a heartful time. Really? No, I had a great time. Where'd you go? Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, Webster Hall. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <Is> that, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Right it was good. And I go, I go, Ralph. I okay. had a whole gay fashion show there. You go. Oh, he missed That would have been fun. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> that had to be funny just to sit there and bust on him. Mm. Now, when you go to uh, bars and stuff, do you pay for all the drinks, or does he actually pay for drinks? No. No, I, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I guess Richie must have picked up the tab, because I went to go pay, and he goes, no, it's taken I mean, care of. I mean, you know, usually, though, when you, know, you guys go to bars. <laughs> well, Ralph picked up the tab one night. He actually did. On the, we got some margaritas going. I was kind of shocked. His credit card work that night? Yeah. Every once in a while, it works. <laughs> Every once in a while, he pays the bill. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, you know, I usually end up picking up the bill. But, hey, nice try, though, John. Well, he just said that. No, I'm yeah, not like you. And Richie picked up the bill. So. Yeah, John's wanted to talk about checks. He's never yeah. picking up. No, one. Ralph was a sport. In fact, uh, the same night, Ralph uh, went out and bought uh, sushi, brought it back, and he paid for the whole thing. Dinner. There's only like three pieces of sushi, but... Yeah, and where'd he go? Probably the cheapest sushi place. Yeah. He... Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. kind of Japanese homeless guy stole it oh, out of his garbage bag. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty good. Evil people. We had a nice little dinner. Yeah, had a romantic dinner. <laughs> and then you talked me. <laughs> yeah, you had dinner. What do you need your Dude, I ate with you. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> that was enough time. His mm. belly was full. Right. You go do something else, stupid. Right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, uh, Rick. Is this power? Yeah. 
Yeah. Ralph, you little faggot. Mm-hmm. Get off the air. Everyone's annoyed with you. You really? little bitch. <laughs> Why didn't you get me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll strangle you, you big nose fairy. All right. Thank Who you. Who are you talking to, me or Howard? I'm talking to you, you little punk. Who are you, oh. douchebag? <laughs> you dumb, stupid idiot. Right. <laughs> you, know, Ralph, 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 you know, he must have been doing something. He'd be accused Look, of being dealing drugs. Ralph, Ralph always a people. Yeah. That, that's funny. I never heard that one before. All right, Ralph. We're going to be talking to High Pitch Eric, who got laid, lost his uh, virginity. By a guy? No, woman. Now, you know, ever since then, he's been standing out here on the street waiting for us to talk I thought he was gay or something. Nah, turns out he's not, but I don't know. I I saw the video. It took him a long time to get aroused. He may be bi. But in all all fairness, there's like 30 guys standing around him shooting a porno and talking to him. How do you you even get into it for a second? I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. I kind of felt bad for him. But he knew what he was getting into. Yeah, I know. And he claimed he was going to be able to handle it. Oh. I don't know. From what I saw, he wasn't handling it all that well. It's pretty funny, actually. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I can't imagine that someone's going to buy that. It's, and the girl is kind of good looking. Yeah. Right? Was, was it like a gangbang porno? Yeah, he was the 21st guy. Oh. Yeah, she turned 20. Well, that's why he was getting aroused, because there were other guys around. I don't know. That's probably how he got it going. Well, you should be the last one to accuse someone of being gay. <laughs> All right, douchebag. All right, douchebag. Later. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> it's great hanging out with you. Yeah. <laughs> you notice they didn't hang out with you the rest of the weekend. Oh. I did because I didn't want to hang out with you. You upset me. I didn't, I, I yeah. didn't trust you anymore. Yeah, right. I thought you were, I thought you were going to like uh, bring me somewhere and dump me again. So, so dude, you two can't decide who didn't call who. <laughs> <laughs> I called them all the rest of the day going, the rest of the night going, man, was, did you miss a great night? <laughs> yeah, I saved with your messages. Yeah. Man, it's great. Yeah, and then you go, hey, man, why didn't you call me? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you douchebag. You should have called me if you wanted to talk to me. Yeah, I did. I didn't get the message. You didn't answer your phone. No, I didn't. We really didn't. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> you were taking his call. Oh. <laughs> oh. Him. He's you. always talking about how good it is to go out with it because you don't have to worry about him. Meanwhile, every minute there's a drama. There's a drama, a Ralph drama. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> the guy comes up to me and goes, your friend was just busted for stealing drugs. That's the funny. And I went, well, what are my options? <laughs> he goes, I said, can I let him back in? He goes, no. Okay. okay. Then why are you telling me? And what do you tell him? Don't, don't disturb my night. <laughs> what I don't know won't kill me. <laughs> I like how I'm supposed to go out and check no, on I him. I think it's great, you know. Yeah. Stay back to our bitch. All right. What was happening? Nothing was happening to him. What were you going to check on? But she said there's nothing happening. The guy's standing what out there. What were you supposed to check on? He wouldn't have right. gone out. No. What do you He didn't. When I was out there, I said, "What's the story? Do you need me?" He goes, "No." He goes, Wait, "Drops out. That's it." You know what would have happened? What am I going to do? If you were thrown out of a club, right? Everybody with you would have been thrown out of the club. He'd have been out there with you already. Right. Exactly. <laughs> please, oh, please, He's Robin. Come check he on was you. fine. Leave. <laughs> I mean, really, what am I going to do, leave? I would have checked on you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you know, he would have needed someone to buy his drinks. but Right. Unbelievable. Well, it was great over there. I love that place. It's a nice place. It's the best place because they throw out Ralph. Yeah, I want to thank him for throwing out Ralph. Okay, you want to know the truth? I paid the guy to throw him out Ralph. You were the guy who turned him I, I turned him in. I said, listen, there's a guy dealing drugs. Here's what he looks like. He just went to the bathroom. Yeah, he's very suspicious. No, no, no. Yeah, what... What is it, Ralph? John, you should shut up with that payback stuff, because the, the, the two have, were nothing alike. Yes, they are. Actually, yours was worse. No, no, John. Yeah, yeah. You left me out there for an hour. Uh, John, I didn't know. You didn't know, even I go didn't back know. and look. First, first of all. For, at least you didn't notice least John was not at the table second, when you got to the table? John, first of all. You, I, I ran into you, you that night. You used me for my weed, and then you dumped uh, first, me. First of all, I ran into you that night. You used me for my weed, and you We didn't, we didn't plan on hanging out. out. You pushed your way into John's car, oh, and no, then all of a sudden you went in. John's got to get you in. you got to get everybody yeah, no. in. I, you I didn't know what was going pot. on. I just was going to a club you with John. You wanted some free pot, and you and you wanted me to go with you. I said, I'll take a cab and meet you. You said, no, come with us. I You wanted to get stoned off of my weed. Stop lying. say that. Yes, you did. You said, come with us. Samos said he even, that you said to him, Hey, can we take take a ride? No, with John I was with and you, John Ralph. Says, no, John says, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crowded. Rewrite history, and Ralph. Piled in with Rewrite history. Friends. You didn't say to me, come, come with us. Don't worry, come with us. 
No. I didn't, I didn't invite you to go with John's limo. limo. I didn't yes, invite you, you did. to the John's limo. I had some weed, and you said, come with us. I said, I'll just take a cab and meet you. And you, go, and you said, no, come with us. And that's why we went in, and that's why we smoked my pot. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Last time, if we pulled the tape from last time you were in there, you said And, you and John, the point, the, the point being is that I didn't know that you didn't get in. I thought everybody trailed right in. Oh, so at, at, what, at, at what point that you're in there and I'm not there, you go, hey, wait. Where's John? Where's John? It's about, about a half an hour or so. Yeah. And so how could you be mad at Howard? And then I went outside. You weren't there. You were gone. You, you, were, you left. So I didn't know. Such a dope I went out and checked, though. He's, he's so wrong. Yeah. He's so I went out, John. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ralph. I went out. Uh, Ralph, I'm there's sure no you're witnesses, uh, Ralph. Yeah, you went out. You went out to find weed. Oh, no, we can't. I went out to find John. I smoked our weed already. So you hey, know, stupid. Come here. I need some more pot. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Nobody cares. Where did my marijuana connection go? Oh, well, I'll get this game over. <laughs> so you got to hear this. So then, then.